and the fish was so big that they had to break it in half to fit it in the box, which is incredible. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Let's take a bite of the fish. So I found another huge fish and chip shop. It's called Catch, and when I was driving past this place, the building is pretty imposing because it's just a big building on its own. But I think it is missing something though. It's missing the words fish and chips because you might not necessarily know that it's a chip shop just from looking at it. But it does sell the usual chip shop stuff like fish and chips, battered sausage, scampi, and it does have a restaurant area where you can get other types of seafood like lobster and other types of fish. But we're here specifically for the fish and chips and I can't wait to try it out because it's one of my favourite meals and you don't have to ask me twice to try out a new fish and chip place. So let's go check it out. So I've now got the fish and chips and it's smelling amazing. I did get a couple of extra sides too. So the cost of this is £9 for the fish and chips and it's haddock that they use. I got mushy peas, curry sauce and gravy and they all come in at £1.20 each. And I've got a tartar sauce as well, which is 90p. So I would say that this is probably an average, maybe a little bit higher than average priced fish and chip shop. This smells incredible and it looks delicious. Cannot wait to try it. I brought my own knife and fork as always, and I'm gonna go straight in for a chip first. Okay, so here is what the chip looks like. Let's go for a bite of it. Mm. Mm. So the chip is nice and crispy on the outside and the inside is really soft and fluffy as well. It's a really, really lovely chip. Now there's one thing that a chip is made for and that's dipping in sauces. So let's do that now. Okay, so the mushy peas at this place looks to be quite a thick one and there might be little flakes of garlic in there. But let's go in for a taste of it, so I'm gonna dip the chip in right now. So there you have it there. Nice chip with mushy peas. Mm. So that's a great mushy peas. I can't really taste anything else apart from mushy peas, so I'm not sure if there's garlic in there or not, but it's pretty good. Right, next up, let's try the gravy. And this looks to be quite a thick gravy, which is what I like. Let's dip a chip into it. Mm. So I would say this is quite a light tasting gravy. At some of the places, the flavor has been a little bit stronger and it's been a little bit saltier, but this one's a bit lighter than those. But there's still a nice meaty taste to it. Mm. So the curry sauce is really thick again. I think it's one of the thickest curry sauces I've ever seen. But let's go in for a taste of it and see what it's like. Let's dip a chip into it. Mm. The curry sauce is great. There's a subtle spice to it. I can feel it just a little bit in the back of my throat now. It's got a great curry flavour. And there's a little bit of a fruity sweet taste to it as well. It's one of the more fruitier tasting curry sauces that I've had, but it's still great. Finally, let's try their tartar sauce. And the person in there told me that this is homemade, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Okay, so here it goes. Let's dip a chip into it. Mm. So the tartar sauce is creamy and tangy, and you can taste a bit of a vinegar sort of flavour in there. Mm. So the time has finally come to try the fish. And the fish was so big that they had to break it in half to fit it in the box, which is incredible. This is the moment that I've been waiting for. Let's take a bite of the fish. Mm. Mm. So the fish is lovely and soft and flaky on the inside and the batter is crispy and crunchy on the outside. It's the perfect combination of crispy, crunchy, soft, sweet. It's lovely. I wanna try the fish with the sauces. So fish and mushy peas. Mm. So the sweet pea flavor really complements the soft fish that's a little bit salty from the salt and vinegar that I put on it. 
and it's just a lovely combination. Let's try it with the gravy. Mm. I think it works better with the gravy because it's quite a delicate gravy and it doesn't overpower the subtle flavour of the fish. So you can still taste the haddock flavour. Mm. Let's try it with the curry sauce. You can really taste the fruitiness of that curry sauce coming through there with that bite. And finally, let's try it with the tartar sauce. Mm. The fish goes really, really well with the tartar sauce. So you get little bits of gherkin in there, which add a bit of a sour crunchiness and flavor to the fish. I think my favorite though, is the gravy, which is not normally the case because I usually go for the curry sauce. That's usually my favorite. But I think with this place, the gravy is just a nice subtle flavor and it's not too salty either. So at some places it can be a little bit salty and a bit too flavorful and it overpowers the fish. But I think here it's just so subtle that it doesn't overpower the fish and you can taste the haddock flavor and the gravy as well. Okay, so I've got to make the ultimate bite. So I've got a bit of chip, I've got the fish and the batter. I'm going to pour the gravy all over it. That looks delicious. Mmm. That's so good. So the fish and chips at this place is great. The chips are nice and soft and a little bit crisp on the outside. There's a nice batter on the fish and it's crunchy as well. And the fish on the inside is nice and soft and flaky and you can taste the haddock flavor. I think I got here at the perfect time because it was just before opening and when I went in to get my fish and chips, they were coming out straight fresh from the fryer. I would say though that the fish and chips here is a little bit greasier than some of the places that I've had it before. So I wouldn't say that it's too greasy, it's just a little bit oilier than some of the other places that I've had fish and chip from. So all in all, I would say this is a great fish and chip shop. So if you're nearby or passing through, come and check this place out and see what you think. If you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below and I'm going to be doing more videos coming up. So if you want to come along for the journey, click on the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.